Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, kids of all ages, welcome back to episode 9 of RB Plays Glacial Awakening. That's right, folks, we're back in the old modded world doing all the cool modded things. If this is your first time here, thanks so much for joining me today. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and get notified whenever we put new content up on the channel. Also, don't forget to uh, hit that like button on the video because those likes and those subscriptions, they help out a lot when it gets to making other people or allowing other people to see my videos and have them suggested to them. Uh, last time we were together, we did some stuff and we did some things. We, uh, we made the bloomery, uh, and uh, the bloomery is this guy right here, and we, uh, we, started, getting, uh, we started getting ingots, right? Um, ingots via nuggets. So nuggets are here-ish. Where did I put my nuggets? Here? Yeah. So we got nine iron ingots. <clears throat> we have five iron nuggets. Uh, and we can also get uh, copper and other things from this guy, too. Uh, that, I can't walk through there. Sometimes I can walk through here, like that. And sometimes I can't. I don't, uh, it's like it just depends on where I hit it, I guess. Anyway, um, so today, today we're going to continue on in the old quest pad, in the old quest book. Uh, I did get, uh, I did get started on this. So, gathering of druidic supplies. We needed a little bit more terra moss, which we already had a bunch, so we just pulled it out of an inventory. Ta-da, there you have it. We also needed 16 wild root, and so in order to get the uh, 16 wild root, we uh, all we did was come up here, and apparently you can plant the wild root. So that, my friends, is what I did. I have wild root planted right here, and that's full grown. Yay. So now we have lots of wild root. Hooray. Ooh, we can also harvest this, so yeah, 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 yeah. that's what I'm talking about. Uh, Don't need that. Let's go back downstairs. So today what we're going to do is we're going to continue on this quest path. I'd like to at least get, at least get to being able to craft a furnace. And it's a, it's a, it's a process. Like we got to do fey crafting. Uh, so we need a fey crafter and we need a grove stone. So let's work on that. And then we also needed, uh, if we do a uh, quest book, oh, we can claim this quest, right? We can get those. Okay. Um, but if we also look at this, we need to get some uh, lapis. So we'll have to work on that as well. We do that with the old um, uh, rock cores. So we might, you know what, we might get, uh, eh, no, we won't. We won't do that yet. Um, anyway, let's get into this. We want to make this Fey Crafter thing, right? So the Fey Crafter is five saplings. It's a wild root and some terra moss. Do I have any terra moss available someplace? I should have it. I should have it. Did I use it all? I don't think I did. I've been trying to, ah, there it is. So terra moss and saplings. Do I have saplings in my inventory? No, but we can get some because we have saplings right here. And boy, oh boy, do we have saplings. He, he, he. Boy, oh boy, do we have saplings. All right, so now we can go to a fey crafter. That's this guy, right? And we need a log. Oh, it, does it have to be ironwood? No, it can be any. It can be any oak log. Any log indeed. So give me one of you, right? So fey crafter, check. Ta-da! We have a fake crafter. Nice! And uh, that opened up a new chapter in our both our pyrotechnic esoterica and our druidic, uh, whatever that book is, the druidic arts or whatever it is. Yeah, this guy. So we opened up new chapters. Hooray! Then we also need to have uh, a, a grove stone. So we need, again, a wild root and some terra moss, some cobblestone, and a couple of cobblestone... Uh, slabs, and I should have that stuff all right up here. Yeah, no, nope, eh, nope. Oh, oh. eh. uh, cobblestone slabs? No. One, two, three. And one, two, three. Cool? Yeah, there we go. Okay, so give me a couple of these. Shoop. And then we can do, uh, uh huh. What was that guy called again? I don't remember. A grove stone. So we need a grove stone. G-R-O-V-E, stone. There he is. Make it. Hey, we just completed another quest. How about that? So that gets us uh, terra spores. What exactly are terra spores good for? Terra spores from roots. Uh, so we need our Druidic Arts book, right? I'm pretty sure that's what we're going to need. So in the Druidic Arts book, we got this guy here. We got crafting in groves. Uh, so introduction. I, it looks like I need to do a little bit of reading because <clears throat> there's a, a lot of stuff that I haven't read yet. So I'll tell you what. Let me take a break. Let me read some of this book. 
and I'll come back to you as soon as I kind of understand what in the world I'm supposed to be doing it. I see that this guy down here, the nature of groves, I see that that's kind of where we're going to end up, so I got a little bit of reading to do. Okay, I've been doing some reading, and it looks like there's a couple of things that we have to do. The first thing that we have to do is we have to prepare an area for our uh, our grove ritual and our uh, fey crafter. So, and then we also have to imbue our uh, our staff here with this uh, the spell dust. So we need a door, we need some moss stone, we need a sapling, we need a wild root, and we need some petals. Petals come from uh, flowers, it looks like. So give me, looks like it can be any flower if I, from what I could tell. So give me this, uh, give me this, give me you, yes. So we'll put you in there. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Sweet. Okay, so there's our petals. Go ahead and put you Oh, excuse me. Burp again. Uh, put you in there. Um, and then we just need to get the rest of these items. That's not where I wanted to be. That's not where I wanted to be either. It was in the book. So we need a wild root, which we have, a sapling, a door. Do I have any doors? I feel like I should have a door. I do have a door. Yeah, because I made a door earlier uh, in the uh, earlier in the whole in the whole series because I got a door up there at the top of the world. Do I have any mossy stone? I do not. How can I get some mossy stone? So spell dust, moss stone, uh, vines and cobble. Do I have any vines? I might have some vines. I do have some vines. Okay, so vines and cobble. Uh, cobble. So we'll put you, nope, put you there and you there. And that gives me mossy cobble. Sweet. Okay, and then uh, the supplication spell, need this guy back. Uh, we need, yeah, we need this. So we need the door, the cobble. Okay, so we need the door. And we need the cobble. And we need a sapling. Which saplings we have right over here. So give me a sapling. And put you in there as well, sapling. And then, oops, not there. Some wild root and the uh, and this stuff. So the wild root is there. Cool. And then is that right? Yeah. Grove supplication. Sweet. And then we imbue our staff with this thing. So I think if I remember right, put that there. And then do we click it with this? Yeah, I think that's right. Is that working? I think it's working. I hope it's working. It looks like it's working. There it is. So now you have Grove Supplication on you? Sure do. I like it. I like it a lot. All right, so now we should be to the point where we can get this uh, get this Grove thing working. It's nighttime, so let's take a, uh, let's take a rest. We'll take a little nappy nap. Then we'll go outside and we'll see if we can find a place. Cool. So let's go upstairs. Let's see if we can get this guy planted. And then we'll do some fake crafting. No doubt about it. Because this is going to be awesome. Hello. 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 Mobs. Okay, cool. Uh, I'm going to put you... I'm gonna put you, oh hi, ow, ow, hi. Get away from me, dude, right now. Just get away, eat an apple, heal up a little bit. Uh, we're gonna put this guy down right there. So, right, and then we just do this, right? You don't have enough wild root in your component pouch. Okay, so we need to open up our component pouch. Uh, do I have a, I don't know if I have a keybind for that. Let's check a keybind for the for the old uh, the old bobble there. Uh, we need controls and pouch. Nope. What is? Oh, I know what my keybind is. Never mind. I know what my keybind is. It's the number eight. Ha! <laughs> there it is. So give me that. And then should we do this? Don't have enough. Oh, don't have enough terra moss. Okay. So terra moss. There we go. Sweet. So now it's going to start throwing this. Uh, it's going to start throwing this stuff around, and it should start growing grass and flowers and all that good stuff, right? That's cool. 
that's super cool. And then this guy, the uh, the Fay Crafter, uh, it says that it can activate it anywhere within 10 blocks. So we've got one, two, no, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So like anywhere out to about here should be fine. I don't think we want to go that far. I think I'm just going to put it right there. That should be fine, yeah? Sure, that should be great. So now we need to look and see what the first thing that we want to make with this whole fake crafting thing is, I think. Uh, so give me just a minute. I'm going to look at a couple of recipes and, and also peel up a little bit because that hurt. I wasn't really paying attention and dude hurts a lot. So, hey, look, tall grass. I like it. I like it a lot. Anyway, we'll come back in a minute and we'll see what we can do next. Hang tight. All right. So what's next on the agenda is actually going to be to get Lapis. We need the Fay Crafter, but in order to get to the furnace, we need to have the Lapis because the furnace uh, needs these rune stones. And rune stones come from Fay Crafting with regular stone and Lapis Lazuli. So we got to get the Lapis first. So that being the case, let's get ourselves some stone. I should have some regular old stone here someplace. Well, I do not have. I do not have regular old stone. Why do I not have regular old stone? I have two pieces. Why do I only have two pieces of stone? Looks like I might need to make some stone, huh? Mm hmm. Or actually, can I do, hold on, can I do this? Wait a minute. This and then this and then chiseled stone accepts any stone. Will it accept cobblestone? Doesn't look like it, but we should be able to do this, right? If we do this and then do this, we should be able to get, yeah, well, I mean, chiseled stone, so that's fine. That'll work. We should be able to use that. Uh, and then we need to get uh, some sand. Do I have any sand? I do have some sand. So give me some sand. And I've got the uh, the light core stabilizer. Let's get the cores. Cores are here. And then we need to get, uh, in order to make lapis, we need, we're going to use this. So we need the shard of the root of life. So where are my shards? Those are here. Shard of the root of life. Sweet. Okay. I'm going to take this outside because uh, I think I need to. And actually, I think I want to take my bed out there too. Can we make a sleeping bag? No. Well, that's not how you spell sleeping bag. Anyway, sleeping bag. Nope. No sleeping bags here. All right. That's fine. We'll just take this upstairs. Cool. That way, if it gets dark, we can sleep. You know, it's daytime right now, but you never know how long that's going to last. Uh, it lasts 10 minutes. It's 10 minutes in Minecraft, so... You know, there you go. All right, anyway, so out here, oh, look, we've got more grass. I love it. So give you, you, and then we'll put you, say, there, get you out of the way. Um, now we need to do this guy. We'll put you, I don't know, put you here, I guess. Put you there. I still never figured out how this thing is actually supposed to work. Um, like, I thought for sure that uh, this was going to be like super duper easy and it's it's really not um so give me this give me this we'll put you there and then we'll do this hello there we go and then we'll do this right yeah see it's uh, totally not working the way that it's supposed to work uh it's totally not hey there it went we got ourselves some lapis lazuli Hooray, hooray, hooray. So now if we break this guy, hello, break. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. We got lapis. We got six pieces of lapis. That's perfect because now we can come over here. Oh, and we need a knife. So to activate, once you get this Fay Crafter, in order to activate it, you have to have a knife. So do we have a knife? Um, knife from artisan work tables or is it a knife? Mystical world, ah, knife from roots. So it's probably the wooden knife from Roots. Do we have one of those in our repertoire? We have a stone knife, yes, so that'll work. So now if we go like this and like this, right? So if we put one of, oh, hey, yeah. So if we put one of you and then four of you and then activate it with the knife, activate it with the knife, Activate it with the knife? Nope. Okay. I'm doing something wrong. Haha. -ha. Well, so it you can't use 
the you can't use the the stones that I had like uh, the the rune stones or whatever those are. You can't use those, but you can use regular old smooth stone. So we should be uh, we should be okay. So we could do like this and then do like this. Hey, look at there! We got ourselves some runic stones. Runic stones or rune stones? Nice, nice, nice indeed. And so now you know what that means. Now that we have eight of those. We can make a uh, we can make a uh, furnace, so that's cool. So now we should be able to get get going on some furnacey type stuff. So let's go make our furnace. We'll complete that quest, and we'll see what's next in the book. Uh, next in the book after that is going to be create a melon. All right, that's going to be interesting. So we'll see what we can do with that. Uh, give me you, and then give me you. Oh baby, we have a furnace. Sweet. I don't know. I don't know if we're going to be able what we can actually use the furnace for. So furnace, uh, I know you can use it for basic things, but I don't think you can. I, like I don't think you can even smelt ores with it. So uh, so furnace, fuel, smelting. So you can do the rocky chunks. Uh, you can smelt redstone down into redstone dust. Um, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Don't need any of that. You can smell. You can smelt cobble, cobbled lime into limestone. Quartz or into nether quartz. Um, so can I do regular stone? Can I make regular stone in a furnace? It says that I can. So that's good. So that means that I don't have to use this guy over here. This is how I had to get my stone in a minute ago. Uh, you can use the stone kiln. But now that we've got a furnace, making stone should be a whole lot easier. So what I'm going to do actually is uh, give me this. I'm going to throw all of you down on the ground like a soul, and then I'm going to use you uh, like a soul, and give me some charcoal, and I'm going to get some cobble, or I'm going to get some uh, regular old smooth stone up and going here. So give me a stack of you, yes please. Uh, do we have tiny coal in here? We do. Charcoal chunks. I'll take it. I will take it. So give me one of you and give me you and get cooking. Cool. So now, next quest, first of all, let's claim this. Oh, we get two more amplifying tubes. Cool. So that gives us four of those now. That's awesome. We have this. We get another furnace. I'll take that too. Put you up there and fill you with charcoal chunks. Um, what's next, right? So next it says we need to craft a melon seed. Converting a pumpkin into a melon with the roots ritual of transmutation. The pumpkin needs to be directly above a water source or running water. Place dirt, uh, then the pumpkin on dirt, remove the dirt, replace with water. So we need a bucket. Can I get a bucket? Can I get a bucket? I should be able to get a bucket now. So that's uh, one, two, three of those, right? Should be able to make a bucket, yeah? One, two, three of those, sweet. Let's go get some water. Is it daytime? It is daytime. Uh, ooh, it's daytime. It's gonna be nighttime. This is bad. I shouldn't have come all the way down here. This is bad. Eh, give me that. Let's go back upstairs. Um, so we need a pumpkin. And I think I have a pumpkin seed. Like, I think I got pumpkin seeds from all of the grass pounding stuff that I was doing. Pumpkin seeds, tomato seeds, pumpkin seeds. There it is. So give me one of you. Need that and that. Okay, let's go. Let's go do this. I want to get out here before it, get, it turns dark. But if we do this in the in the ritual area, then we should be able to get this pumpkin to turn into a melon. Hey, can I, can I come out here, please? Oh yeah, we're good. We're good. Uh, let's, oh, do I have a, ooh, I do have a hope, yay. Uh, all right, so it says to take a pumpkin. So we need to grow a pumpkin, fine. Let's put, first and foremost, let's go right here, turn you, Make a pumpkin. Uh, do I have? I do not. It's almost nighttime. We need. I don't know what we need. I need bone meal. I should have some. So let's get some bone meal. We'll make that pumpkin grow. We might have to take a break until that pumpkin grows because, you know, they don't grow that fast. Uh, bone meal? Nope. Bone meal? Nope. Bone meal? Nope. Bone meal? Nope. Oh boy. Uh, shards? Yes. 
Shards will be fine. There we go. Bone meal. Let's go back upstairs before it gets dark. Because nighttime cometh. Nighttime cometh quickly. Cool. Oh, we're good. Wow, that it's a lot it's a lot lighter out than I thought it was gonna be. Interesting. Alright, so now I need to just let this guy grow. Okay. So we're on a mission here. We had to make some more of these rune stones because the next uh, the next item that we want requires a ritual of transmutation, and it requires two standing ritual stones. So we have to pat we have to pile two stones on top of each other, right? And we have to put a pyre next to it. So let's go down here and get our pyre, which is this guy. Is that the pyre? No, that's uh, is that the pyre? That's the imbuer. Here's the pyre uh, that requires an axe. Okay. Uh, so give me you and give me you. There we go. So we'll put this up here, upstairs, also. Um, now, does that have to be... Does that have to be close to... Pyre should be close to your pumpkin. Okay, now the pumpkin is still growing. But I figured we might as well get this, because it looks like we're getting pretty close on time anyway. So let's... Uh, I guess we'll put you here. So give me a, give me this. We'll build a stack of you, right? And then it said that this should be within two blocks. So we'll put you here, right? I'm gonna put the pumpkin here. Yeah, we'll put the pumpkin there, but the pumpkin is not growing. Eh, grow pumpkin, grow, grow pumpkin, go, grow. Give me pumpkin, come on, come on pumpkin, grow. Doesn't wanna grow. Ugh. All right, I'll come back when the pumpkin grows. But we need to, uh, actually, we need to grab a couple more things. So in the book, it says that for the pumpkin, well, for all of this, we need cloud berries, we need, arc, uh, we need bark, we need mossy stone, a chiseled rune stone, and a furnace. <laughs> so one of the furnaces that we just got, we got to go get. Or actually, could we just make an, uh, we can't make another one. We don't have enough of the things to make another one. But that's okay. We will sacrifice one. For science, give me this and give me this. We'll sacrifice one for science. I think we might have some ore berries. I'm pretty sure we got those already, so we'll check the chest. We need some bark, which we get bark from a knife. Uh, so give me you, please. Yes, please. Uh, give me you, ore berries. Ore berries, not in there. Ore berries over here. Ore berries over here. Ore berries, yes, please. No ore berries. Terra spores, nope, 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 nobody, nope. Terra spores, oh, we had terra spores over there too. Oh, we'll fix that, put those over here. Uh, ore berries, like I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure we had ore berries, but maybe we didn't. I'm guessing we did not, so ore berries. Uh -huh. Read the book, how do we get ore berries? Cloud berries. Shift click for the recipe. Oh, we have to make them. So we need a pyre ritual that includes grass, yeah, wool, and terra moss, and leaves. Okay, so that's easy enough. So give me some leaves. Give me a leaf. Uh, I'm going to put you... Yeah, you. Put you in there, you in there. Charcoal chunks, okay. Uh, and then what else did we need? Terra moss, wool, grass. We can get grass upstairs. We can also make ourselves a pair of shears, right? A pair of shears. Oh boy, that was not good. A pair of shears, cool. Was it getting to be nighttime yet? No, not quite. Um, we've got the moss, right? And we need a piece of cobble so give me a piece of cobble from here yes please and some some vines and we do this right yeah that should be everything so we got that we got oh, we need wool we need a piece of wool so string i think that's right the right recipe for string or for wool right 
Yeah, all right, now we should be able to do this. So let's go upstairs. Up at the stairs. If it's nighttime, we'll sleep because it's important. It is not nighttime yet, so that's cool. So in the book, it says we need the leaves and then we need the wool and the grass clippings. So leaves, wool, grass clipping. and moss, two of them. Yeah, and we set it on fire. Where's my fire starter? Uh, fire starter there. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So that should give me ore berries. Cookie, cookie, cookie. Yeah, I like it. So we got the ore berries now, so that's cool. And then the next thing that we needed uh, for this ritual, for this one here, is gonna be, I'm completely lost, uh, rituals. Rituals of transmutation. So we need that, we need that, we need mossy stone, spruce bark, and a cha-cha wood, or chiseled runestone. How do we get the chiseled, <coughs> chiseled runestone? Mm-hmm. I don't know how to get that. Oh, well, that's easy. So we can take four of these. Zoop. There we go. Four chiseled runestones. So we just need bark. Uh, okay. It's almost nighttime. Can I make it back with a sapling? I don't know. I feel like I can make it back with a sapling. So we'll get a sapling. Should have grabbed it down here. We'll grow a tree. We'll get some bark, because I think all we need to get the bark is the is the knife, right? So give me a shapling. Cool. Back upstairs. And this will probably do it for this episode, because uh, this will get this actually gets us farther than we wanted to get today. I just wanted to get to the furnace, you know, so uh, we should be able to make that. Can I get out of here, please? Okay, cool. All right, so you, you, plant, get tall. There we go. And then Is that how they do this? No. How do we get bark? How do we get bark? I should have read, but I didn't. So bark. Jungle bark. I don't know how to get bark. Uh-huh. Well, it's time to sleep. There we go. So we'll figure out how to get bark. Once we have a piece of bark, then we should be in uh, should be in good shape. So bark, bark, oak bark, log plus knife equals bark. Okay. Aha! I figured it out. I figured it out. Give me all the bark and the saplings, of course. Uh, well, you know, it's fine. It's all good. Plant another tree. And I think we're ready to do this ritual now. So let's make sure we've got everything we need. We needed uh, one of you, yes. We needed one of you, yes. We needed one of you, yes. Uh, we also needed some of this, right? What else? So in the book, we need mossy stone, which we have, right? So mossy stone, we have it. Okay, what else? And chiseled runestone. Okay, so chiseled runestone. That's a runestone brick. Uh-oh, Ch chiseled runestone. Chiseled runestone comes from four runestone bricks. Okay. So four runestone bricks gives me chiseled runestone. I love it. Now, is that everything I needed then? I think so. I'm pretty sure so. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. So we put you 
you, 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 yeah, but we still don't have, still don't have a pumpkin. Ugh. Why? Why is there no pumpkin? Why is there no pumpkin? Ugh. I'll be back in a minute as soon as this stinking pumpkin grows because pumpkins and I do not get along. I don't know what's going on. Grow me a stinking pumpkin, dude. Like, seriously. Like, if I put lights here, will you please grow me a pumpkin? Please grow me a pumpkin. Please grow me a pumpkin. Okay, I moved the pumpkin over here because uh, I was having trouble getting it to grow. And I figured, you know what? This grove thing is supposed to make things grow anyway, so why not? We'll give it a try. So we got the pumpkin, so we'll put the pumpkin down, and then it says to remove the dirt block underneath, right? So remove the dirt block underneath. And then we need to get some bucket, a bucket of water. So we'll put a bucket of water under there, like so. And then we need to do this ritual. So boom, and then boom, and boom, and boom, and boom, and set it on fire. So fire starter right there. And no, no. Is it working? Do I have to activate it? I don't know if I have to activate it or not. Uh, what am I missing? Hold on. Pumpkin. Uh, to start the ritual, you need a standing stone nearby. Cool. Two blocks should do it. This is a two block tall rune stone uh, with a chiseled rune stone. Ah, oh, chiseled rune stone on top. Aha. So we need a chiseled rune stone. That would be one of these guys. So, skoosh. Yeah. Eh. How about that? Okay. Now it says. Chisel runes on the top, pyre, should be uh, getting, enough, uh, getting enough cloudberry, elemental soil, blah, blah, blah. We got enough cloudberry. So we should be okay? Can we light this thing on fire now? Yeah, we can. So that should turn that into a watermelon. And if it turns it into a watermelon, hey, it did. I love it. We did it. We got ourselves a watermelon. So now we should be able to harvest that. Did we get the, did we get the thing? We need, we need melon seeds. Okay, that's easy enough. So give me one of you and one of you. Sweet. Quest complete. Melon seeds. What a day. So now we get a block of melon charcoal. With a burn time of five minutes. Five minutes. Whoa, Nelly. I love it. So that is going to be it, I think. We got to get... The next thing up is the Paraskia. Paraskia is, uh, is going to be... Glistening, glistering melon plus redstone plus beetroot. I don't have any beetroot. How am I going to get beetroot? I'll have to figure that out. Anyway, folks, that's going to do it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, you know what to do. Hit the like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe. The likes and subscriptions help out oh so immensely when it comes to those pesky YouTube search results. The other thing that helps out a lot is comments, so make sure you leave your comments right down here in the comment section below and we'll chat about it leave your chips your tricks your pointers your attaboys your what in the world were you thinking all that's good stuff and we'll chat about it in kind also don't forget to stop by my discord server which is where we talk about all things life all things gaming and all things minecraft but once again folks that's all the time we have for today thank you so much for watching and until next time we will catch you on the flip side we'll see you later folks Bye bye